Welcome to the Daily Horror Habit Podcast. I'm your host, Jay Krieger, bringing you daily reviews of currently streaming horror movies for your twisted pleasure. Be aware that these reviews may include mild spoilers. And as always, I hope you enjoy. Let me start by saying I'm a massive fan of Timo Chianto's work. I not only consider his action martial arts film, The Night Comes For Us, to be a masterpiece of bloody bodily harm, but his film, May the Devil Take You, is one of the stronger Evil Dead homages out there. That being said, I wasn't exactly clamoring for a sequel to this homage, which ended up being an entertaining but fairly standard bout of possession horror. So, from the outset, you could say I was skeptical of the sequel, May the Devil Take You 2, which is currently streaming on Shudder, a sequel to the 2018 original film. While I enjoyed the original, as a love letter to the Evil Dead, I felt that it had exhausted the story and scares it set out to tell. Timo wastes no time proving to audiences that there is more demonic terror in store for series protagonist Alfie as he crafts a sequel that hits harder and bloodier in every conceivable way. Picking up two years after Alfie and Nara survived the original film's hellish events, they're still being stalked by a demonic presence. After a brief haunting encounter, the duo is suddenly kidnapped by masked figures who take them to a rural, abandoned orphanage. Their captors reveal their reason for being abducted is so the demon-slaying duo can help their captors with their own haunting issue, which is picking off their friends one by one. Alfie and Nara reluctantly agree to help, but evil has a way of remembering those who have eluded them. May the Devil Take You Too is the byproduct of a filmmaker who has been actively honing their craft in the subsequent two years in between films. The original film felt a tad long-winded for the type of story it was attempting to tell, something Timo avoids with the sequel. The film's narrative is more deliberate and sure of itself, wasting no time in catching us up with old friends before throwing them into a new, amplified realm of hell. The sequel is cognizant of the trauma both of the survivors of the original are grappling with, showing us rather than giving us a lengthy exposition reminder. Alfie takes medication to deal with her own psychological demons, while a traumatized Nara suffers many sleepless nights, robbed of a normal childhood. These aren't battle-hardened veterans, rather survivors that still grapple with their past on a daily basis. Chelsea Islan as Alfie is once again the film's heart and soul, as she molds her trauma into the fuel required to transform her into a demonic huntress hell-bent on revenge. Though, as can often be the case with such a strong lead performance, the new crop of characters struggle to match Islan's gusto, making them feel like forgettable sheep being led to the slaughter. Once the narrative pleasantries are sorted out, Timo then spends the next hour ramping up the blood and scares considerably, managing to surpass the original in just about every conceivable way. Much like the original, May the Devil Take You Too feels like an even more refined love letter to the evil dead, wearing its influence on its sleeve at every turn. And yet, the scares and newfound levels of bodily harm feel more creative, indicative of a filmmaker not looking to rest on the laurels of the original film's success. The scares begin familiar enough for demonic horror, but grow in carnage until the film's bonkers conclusion, which increases the bloodlust considerably. The overall tone of the film has also changed, as the film doesn't necessarily feel scary, rather Timo applies his action sensibilities to the horror genre. This creates chaotically hellish fight scenes that move at the pace of an action film, while coating those involved in gallons of arterial spray. In this regard, the film fully embraces the sequel methodology of bigger and better, ratcheting up not only the blood, but cinematography that goes into the film's improved upon chaos. There's a refined polish applied to most of the film that makes even the most stock standard demon possession jump scares pop. Timo's refocused and refined attention to narrative pacing and fight scenes is what allows the sequel to surpass the original's May the Devil Take You 2 feels more organically creative, with a layer of Timo's signature brutality, which he displayed in both The Night Comes For Us and the original May the Devil Take You. Inventive ways to inflict bodily harm that will make you question whether or not you're a coward for looking away, with scenes such as force-feeding a demon a taser, or a demon literally clawing its way from the fleshy belly of a very alive victim. The sequel is nothing if not unrelenting in its twisted brutality. The second half of May the Devil Take You 2 expands upon the film's possession horror by throwing telekinetic powers into the mix, resulting in all manner of bodies and implements to soar across sets. 
This newfound, action-focused, Hell Powers angle never veers the film outside the realm of its small-scale horror focus. Rather, it enhances what it already does so well, facilitating a new facet of creative brutality. This fresh dose of creativity ultimately stops this sequel from feeling like a retreading of old ideas. May the Devil Take You 2 concludes in an all-out, otherworldly bloodbath that justifies Alfie and Nara saddling up to thwart the forces of the undead one last time. As far as horror sequels go, they're rarely this satisfying and they're improving upon their brutal fight scenes and refined narrative. Timo remains one of the most exciting voices in horror at the moment, as his versatility in multiple genres yields increasingly compelling and violent delights. I highly recommend this to fans of demonic possession horror films who like their horror action packed rather than traditional jump scare focus. Be sure to check out the original May the Devil Take You, which is streaming on Netflix, and of course, May the Devil Take You Too, which is streaming on Shudder. And that'll do it for another episode of Daily Horror Habit. I'll see you guys next week for more Daily Horror Movie Reviews. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to Daily Horror Habit on your preferred streaming service and follow at Daily Horror Habit on Instagram and at Daily Horror Pod on Twitter.